It's another beautiful day in the city of Vancouver, but business to do for the Whitecaps against an FC Dallas team that arrives in town on a really good run, unbeaten in their last five matches. The roof open at BC Place. Go forward and support the attack, which is led by Darren Maddox. He scored in the last two games for the Vancouver Whitecaps. We'll be hoping he can add another goal or more this afternoon. Central midfielders to go forward and try and support and create for the likes of Akindeli and leading goal scorer Blas Perez, who has five goals, four assists in 18 games for FC Dallas. Underway as Dallas get things going here. They have a good record against the Whitecaps. Just a one victory for Vancouver in the previous eight meetings between these two teams. The lower goes back to the left and played forward by Matt Hedges. Hedges making his 20th start of the season. Headed away well by Carlisle Mitchell. Now Kofi with a first-time ball through and Darren Maddox is onto it round the back of the defence. Can Maddox score? Yes, he can! Darren Maddox finds the net for the third game in a row. A cool, calm finish. It is 1-0 Whitecaps. Well, Fernandez made a very good save on Maddox just earlier. But look at this fabulous through ball from Gershon Kofi, splitting the three central defenders. And Maddox's speed takes him beyond the one thing that Darren Maddox has been working on so hard is that composure. Just to pass the ball into the back of the net. No mistake from the Jamaican international. Looking for Hernandez. Peter Shaw will chase. Moises Hernandez. Homegrown player for FC Dallas. We'll chase this ball from Michel. And there's just keeping it in play. That's a good ball towards Lloyd. Off the bar, Perez with another chance now. And Dallas are level. It's a very smart finish from Perez after the ball came back off the bar. But good build up play down the left hand side from FC Dallas. The Whitecaps not doing enough defensively. Great little ball in for Hernandez. Does really well to clip this to the back post. Just stands it up. The header back off the bar. It's a difficult one. You thought that Perez was just going to try and head that one in, but he made a smart decision to just take it on his chest and volley home. He just had to be really patient and wait for that to come down. Took it on the half volley. Excellent finish in the penalty area. Dead quickly with the ball out towards Morales. Well won by Zimmerman. And then Mitchell, not hearing the call, but it was a handball and a penalty for Dallas. Well, David Osted's made a big shout for this ball. He threw it out to Pedro Morales. He was intercepted by Zimmerman, who headed it straight back into the penalty area. And David Osted comes off his line to claim this, a big shout. And Carlisle Mitchell ducks and comes off his arm not sure what he's doing there's no doubt it's a handball David Osted fury so it's Michel the Brazilian against David Osted after the handball by Carlisle Mitchell and Michel gives Dallas the lead Six minutes before half-time, the Whitecaps, who led early in this game, now trail. Well, it's a defensive mistake. There's nothing else you can say about it. Carlisle Mitchell getting his wires crossed after a big shout from David Osted in goal. Raises the hand. There's no doubt about it. It's the correct call from Kevin Stott. Good spot from him, but Michel steps up, confidently side foots home. David Osted going the other way. Morales, forward for Kofi, now Eric Cotardo, Darren Maddox off for Pedro Morales, looking for the run of Maddox, is that a handball? Yes it is, it's a penalty for the Whitecaps. Am I allowed to cheer? <laughs> <laughs> you are, but Can I'm I not. Do that? <laughs> right, yeah. Well, it's a great spot from Kevin Stott, the referee. He does a really good job here. It's absolutely the correct call. Great little flick over the top. Jay, you talked earlier about uh, Pedro Morales' quality. 
Darren Maddox, a great little touch, and you see Hernandez coming across there. He handles the ball after Maddox takes this on his foot. Great control in that hand. Pedro Morales with six MLS goals this season. He's looking for a seventh. Morales against Fernandez. It's Pedro Morales, and the Whitecaps are level. Pedro Morales dispatched into the corner from the spot. It is 2-2. Come as you like, Pedro Morales steps up and equalizes for the home side. He kept his composure despite Blas Perez's best efforts to throw him off. The great ball through from Morales into Darren Maddox. And that hand to ball inside the penalty area. Morales steps up, side foots home. Very composed, isn't he, Jay, from the penalty spot, Pedro he Morales? Is, he's composed, you know, like you said, the ball that set up that, pen that penalty itself. Is fantastic vision. Some very good players will be on show. On August. Morales with the ball, and Mitchell with a header! Now comes back for Sebastian Fernandez and away for a corner. Well, Carlisle Mitchell scored from a set piece against Chivas. Mighty close this time. Well, he's such a big player. He's so good in the air. We said against Chivas, we were waiting for Carlisle Mitchell to find the back of the net. Did well to shirk his defensive marker. In for Morales. 4 4 1 1. Now, as the Whitecaps look to exploit on the counter, Morales after a good win by Kofi. Now it's Mane, forward for Pedro Morales, up against Kiel. Morales, what a wonderful save! Kiel didn't know what day it was. It's a great cutback from Pedro Morales. Can't believe he hasn't scored. But look at how sharp he cuts back onto that right foot, just checks back, sets himself. Fernandez makes a really sharp save as well. Gets down very well to the right. Across for Harvey with just 30 seconds left. Now it's Omar Salgado for Darren Maddox. Reflected off Keel. Back out for Pedro Morales. Straight at Fernandez. Now Harvey flicks it forward. One last chance. No. Now it's Darren Maddox. It is full time, 2-2, the final score at BC Place. Pedro Morales with some excellent chances, but couldn't find a winner.